This is Master Geo at the Adult Entertainment Expo 2014 on Saturday with the lovely Dana Diarmond. Hello, Dana. How you doing? Hi. Good. How's a uh, How's AEE? Pretty good so far. I did lose my voice yet. I'm signing a girlfriend's film. Amazing. What made I'm really loud all of a sudden? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what made you decide to get into the adult industry? Well, after my career working at Disney and Universal Studios and back in Orlando. I was off and on uh, dancing in gentlemen's clubs uh, for about years between Florida and California. I was a dancer. So it's sort of natural progression of things, stripper to porn star. Got fired from being a stripper because I quit drinking. Because I like it when you uh, get drunk when you're a stripper, I guess. I don't know. I a party animal. So I, um, I'd, I'd seen uh, bugging machines on the internet and I wanted to bug a machine. So I applied, just like a normal job. I've never really like had a real job. I've only been in the entertainment industry. I mean, this is a career, it's my career, right. but I've never uh, punched a clock. Uh, I've never uh, had any real uh, assign assignments, I guess. What do, what do real... jobs I don't know what a job is right. I know what a blow job is and that's about it that, that is much better Trust yeah blow yeah yeah blow job better. is still a job so yeah it is it's work yeah I mean do what you love and you never work a day in your life right amen <laughs> just I just happen to love blow jobs what is the most awesome thing about being a porn star uh, it depends on what which you are, so. I guess. For Dana, what's the most awesome thing about being Dana? For Dana is I don't, I am sort of my own boss. I um, am in charge of myself. Um, I don't know. I'm a good, I, I'm a good role model. I feel like, you know, I feel like there's definitely a place for me in the industry. And I like that a lot. I feel like it would be like really horrible if like, I didn't work or, you know, people were just like, ah, she's okay. You know, being a star, I'm a star, you know. I'm at the point in my career where I get, I'm comfortable with saying I am a star. I'm at the top of my game. So, that's the best part about being me. I'm the best. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And I'm super humble, so very modest. Next question. <laughs> what is your mindset when you go shoot a scene? I, um, I get really nervous. Most of the time, I uh, I'm just lose my mind. I get super, super nervous. Um, I, I treat every scene as if it is like... The most important scene, uh, you're only as good as your last scene that came out type of a thing. I never want to, I never want to disappoint anybody. I never want to do like a, a shitty scene, you know. I always want to like up my, my game. I only compete with myself. I just, um, but sometimes, you know, you go into a scene and you're working with somebody that you, you're like, oh, this is going to be a fucking cakewalk, like, easy day, you know? And you always get curveballs every now and then, but it's nothing I can't handle. But um, I'm really nervous. I work with a lot of newer girls. There's a lot of girls still coming into the business, so I just get so, like, people are really intimidated by me, too. <laughs> Again, super modest. <laughs> um... But I mean, it's a big deal for new girls when, right. when they work with me. They get really freaked out, and so I want to just like say, you know, we're we're the same. Like I'm in this with you. Like this is a two-way street. Let's knock this one out of the park. You know, I try to be like um, have a good bedside manner, I guess. Um, be encouraging and helpful, and be you know nice, like not scare the girls. I guess some of, some people are like. I do, I'm very choosy about who I let fist me. Very, very particular. I always check the nails. 
Like, you know, Aiden Star convinced me, Ariel X convinced me, Princess... Any you know, girl off the street with acrylic nails, right? Go for it. You know, I'm very particular, very, very, but I'm like a fisting expert. If, if I'm like, oh, you're a fisting expert too, sure, you know, awesome. it's like a secret gang, right? right and the right. gang handshake is sticking your arm in someone's asshole. <laughs> Part of a woman. Um, probably butts. I love feet too. I always check someone's feet. I feel like depending on the woman, like her best feature is the thing that I like best, you know, right. about yeah. her. You know, some people they're, you know, maybe like I like style and I like personality. I I'm very like, okay, I like this about you. I like this about you. You know, I don't really have a type, but I like natural. I like funny. I like I like I like fit fit women. I I like um, but you know, I also like curvy like bigger girls, you know. I I kind of I'm just a giant lesbian, I guess. I don't know. I just Perfect. I just like them all. up with the term your internet's girlfriend okay um the internet's girlfriend is because um there was a, a school that was in class when we were in high school and she, and she was like totally fine you know she would like check people off in the media center you know like she was just like a horny you know she was like a little bit more evolved than a lot of us and um so we would call her uh everybody's girlfriend so when MySpace whoring became a thing and everyone was like following back and things like that, I said, right. well, I'm like everybody's girlfriend, but on the internet. Ah. Yeah. Or if you don't have a, a girlfriend, like I'll be your internet girlfriend. All right. So, it, but it was from everybody's girlfriend, which is what we call this girl that was just like into sex. Okay. But that's me too. I'm just into sex too, so. Well, you obviously like social media. Uh, you're one of my favorite people to follow on social media. What is it that you enjoy so much about it? Um, I like to, yes, I like to, uh, jo I like to write jokes, and I think that's like a little bit different, like, a lot of girls in the porn business are very good at Twitter, and some of them buy followers, some people will get followers by following people back, or they're joining like a network, or they get their friends, photography, like, 50 times a day. I I really just grew my fan base. I have 120,000 followers on Twitter, but I don't really post a lot of nudity or pornography, but I do post like dirty jokes, trending topics, um, just like Dana, like Dana-ish things. You know, um, my fan base is more personality driven than going, hey, porn, 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 porn. Did I mention I do porn? So, um, I don't know. It, it goes with my personality. It, oh. goes, it goes with my personality. I'm not, I'm not the girl that's going to be like, I have 500,000 Twitter followers, you know, like overnight. People want me, they'll find me. Right. That's why you're one of my favorites. You're always a pleasure what you post. Keep, keep it real. Keep it real. <laughs> So what's the secret to pleasuring a woman? Uh, it depends on the women, I, I think. Um, just, I pay attention. I ask them what they like. I think that's like the mo I, I think um, that's something the gay community has figured out that maybe like straight people or, or people don't really have down pat. But in the gay community, people go, hey, what are you into? You know, they're like, oh, I'm a top, I'm a bottom, I'm versatile, I'm uh, into leather, you know, it's like, they have like codes for it and like, they all know, like, they're very open about it and I think that, you know, growing up in a society, in America, damn it, America, America. damn it, America, I love America, I mean, yeah, I love America. Um, People are just kind of like jammed up. They're like afraid to talk about um, sexual situations. It's kind of sad. But then they have people like me that it's like, it's okay to fist people in the butthole. And then they get all comfortable and everyone's cool and like having a good time. So yeah. 
I think uh, just like being able to, to connect with women and like find out like a little bit of an honest answer of what they like. It's, it's pretty easy. Women are pretty easy. They'll let you know. Like if you're like touching a woman on her pussy and she's not making any noise, it's maybe not a great sign. Right. Yeah, it's a subtle, subtle cues. Wetness, check for wetness. I don't know. <laughs> Pull their hair. Just experiment. <laughs> hey, what do you like to do when you're bored? When I'm bored, yes. I like to take a bath. <laughs> I take a bath a lot. Wow, okay. I love taking baths. It's very relaxing. And I also live in a in a loft, so it's really big. Okay. It's kind of hard to like uh, regulate the temperature. So I just get in the bathtub. Alright. Yeah, just well, you have one of my favorite butts in the business. Do you mind showing your uh, oh butt? God. Yes. I'm wearing this like weird romper. <laughs> my weird romper. Can you even see my butt? Can you see your butt? We can, we can see your butt. It's my. It's um. It's like cooler <laughs> um. When there's not a romper on it, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dana. And <laughs> I, I, guess I don't want to get finger banged at a convention. No. Like, I've been doing this for way too long. No, you don't want that. You to motherfuckers, <laughs> I got you. Haha, -ha, can't finger bang Say, me. There you Surprise, go. Surprise, it's short. There you go. You you can't finger bang that. It's not happening. Sorry. Yeah, it's too sneaky. It's you, too sneaky for my own fans. You've learned. You've learned well. <laughs> <laughs> they try to get you. They try to get you. They do. They do. <laughs> like, can you can you just like can I take a picture? Can can you put your leg up and then they try to creep their hand down there? I'm like ah. Uh, I know what you're doing. You're trying to finger bang me right now. You got finger blocked. Oh, get some hand sanitizer before you do that. <laughs> just kidding. No, 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 no. No, no hand sanitizer. Don't no. don't finger bang people in public. Just say no to finger banging people in public. Unless you're Princess Donna, I guess. Oh, okay, unless you're Princess her, Donna. Her whole thing is... <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> All right, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> We're insane now. We yes. just went insane. That was awesome. Well, you've honestly made my whole day. You've probably the most entertaining interview I think I've done all week. Thank you. And people wonder why I'm immodest. You don't need to be modest. My head is gonna explode. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. You know what people say? You're a legend. I'm like, like what? Like a Loch Ness monster? Like what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like a Yeti situation? Like what is a? Well, you are a legend in the industry. Do it's you? It's like kind of weird though because I feel like just last year people were like, and who are you? I'm like. Dana! Dana! But like this year everyone's like, oh yeah, it's Dana. Yeah, fuck yeah, Dana. It's okay. Uh, you've always Nothing been... Clicked, my odometer <laughs> clicked over into legend. Legendary status now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're having too much fun. Yes, we are. Yes, I'm we are. Sorry for whoever has to get an interview after me. It's a tough act to follow. You, you, will, you are a tough act to follow, I have to say. No, I'm crazy. I'm a crazy person. I'm... What's Dana going to say? I'm hosting the red carpet at the AVN Awards. What are you going to say at the... I don't know. They're uh -oh. insane. They're insane for letting me do that. They are insane. And be on Showtime. What is Dana going to do? I don't know. Well, I look forward to finding out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. There was some kind of a Tourette's thing going on. I don't know what I'm going to say. Blurt things out. Ah! How did you feel when you found out you were you were doing that? I was like taking a nap when it happened, and so um, the producer of the AVN show, Gary Miller, called and he said, right. "Hey, Dana, it's Gary Miller, and I just wanted to say that we chose you to host the red carpet at the AVN Awards." And I was like, "Okay, that's cool." And he was like, "Aren't you excited?" And I was like, "Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, it's really exciting. Really, uh, it's a great opportunity." And he was like very confused, but I was like literally dead asleep, and then I was like awake, and I was like, yes, thank you, thank you, okay, I accept. What a what a great opportunity. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, it's such an honor, it's such an honor. I'm like, I will begin to be honored like now. 
right. you know. <laughs> it was. I was just. I don't know. Um, I, th I think it's real cool. All right. Because everyone's like, you should host AVN, you should host AVN. But it's like, I'm not like a new girl, or I'm not like, you know, I'm I'm not Wonder Woman. Right. Like Chanel. I'm not a contract girl like Samantha. You know? So this is like the logical thing is for me to host Red Carpet. And Nicole Aniston is also on Red Carpet. So funny. You should go interview Nicole. I will. She's actually very funny. Okay. I think she can keep up with me. Oh, she can keep up with you. Yeah, Sick. and she's like a lot prettier than me too. <laughs> it's like crazy. I'm like, why are you so pretty? I hate you. But then she's like, picks her nose. I'm like, oh, you're oh, well, cool. All right, see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, cool shit. All right. <laughs> Any final words, Dana? Um. Oh yeah, I'm going to relaunch. DanaDRMond.com. Okay. And the Puba Network. Okay. So I'll be right next to all my friends, Asa and London and uh, Bailey Blue, which is now going to be uh, Dahlia Sky. Yes, she had to change her name. Um, Samantha Saint, Danny Daniels. Like they have so many amazing tops. Uskin Diamond. The Puba Network has a lot of. And I've known Ivan for so long from our days back at Anabolic when he used to direct for anabolic and I used to do all those balls deep and the ass to mouth movies and all those before we got into romance we used to do like the craziest gonzo stuff so I think it's like a pretty good combo so I'm real excited so and then follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dana whatever I'm stupid that's what I want to say to my fans I'm a stupid asshole <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, thank you, Dana. You were a complete well, you're, pleasure. You're totally welcome. So are you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dana. You're welcome.